day two of Vlogmas. Today we're going to go up to climbing some trees. But first of all, we need to open our advent calendars. Here's number two. There it's number two. There's number two. That's right on Santa's face. That's mean. You need to break Santa's face, Andrew. You don't care. Some holly. And now where's number two in this thing? Oh my god, this is literally impossible. How do unboxing channels who like do things with one hand? How do you do this? There's looks like Christmas. And it is, oh, a face mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we going, Andrew? We're going ape. Up a tree. BRB. BRB. Several song-filled hours later. We weren't allowed to film in Go Ape, which was weird. I suppose it's probably just because people do that thing where they like hang off a tree and take a selfie and then they actually die. So I literally wasn't even allowed my phone in. So I didn't get to film anything. And then we went to a wee cafe and then just had like a toasty but we were so tired that I just thought there was literally no point in me filming anything because I'm so tired. And um, and now I'm home and this is what I look like. Looking good. I'm just watching Zumbo's Just Desserts on Netflix. It's so good and I'm so cosy. So see when we're like in the middle of the trees and shit for Go Ape. Like if you don't know what Go Ape is, it's like um, an obstacle course but at the top of trees. So like, you have to like climb up the trees and then like do like an obstacle course like dangling from trees and like zip wiring and stuff. And then um, we had done it before in Cumbria, which is in England. And we decided, like, I wanted to do the one in Scotland because apparently the zip wires are really long and I love zip wires. I think it's so fun. So we did that and then there's, like, a section where it's like, oh, would you rather do the easy route or, like, the extreme route? And in Cumbria we'd done the extreme route and it was okay. So I was like, oh, well, let's just do the extreme route. Like, we paid a lot of money for this. Like, we were going to do the most intense shit because that's what's happening. So like I'm hooking like all my pulleys and clips and shit onto this thing, right? And it's like basically like there's some, there's like a loop of rope and then like in the sky and then like um like a plank of wood but like a round, like a cylinder of, really small cylinder of wood and it's attached by string so it's like dangling like it's not like that steady or anything. So I was like, oh, it's fine, like, if I get stuck, you can kind of just, like, sit on your harness and then, like, you can kind of pull yourself across, which is, like, usually what you do if you get stuck. So, like, I'm in the middle of, like, I'm just, like, clipping on and I'm like, right, I'm going to do it. And I stand on it and I'm immediately, like, doing shits everywhere. Like, I hate it. It's horrendous. And then, like, I kind of get, like, a tiny bit further and realise that I'm too short so I can't reach the other rope. So I've got no idea. Why am I not in focus? Thank you. So I'm like, I've got no idea if I'm even going to be able to get to the next bit of rope or how I'm going to even get off of this like part of the obstacle. So I'm basically dangling. I think it's like you're over a hundred feet in the sky, so like you're pretty high up. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're two hundred feet in the sky. You know, I think you might be. And um, like literally, people look like ants that it's, you're that high up. So like I'm dangling in the middle, and like I can't even pull myself on my harness. Like I'm just stuck. And like I'm just like I really needed a pee before it started and I should have went and now I'm like freaking out dangling in the middle being like am I actually just going to pee myself in a forest dangling on a harness this is so embarrassing and then um, I, managed, I couldn't even go any further and I was just total having a panic attack <laughs> so like I tried to get back to like where I was in the first place and I literally can't and like Andy's attached to the tree with his like clips and I'm like pull me up pull me up and like as soon as I got up and I was just like overwhelmed with like emotion that I was just like basically crying but like trying to not cry because that's like really embarrassing because why are you crying up a tree so like I'm pure 
like freaking out and he's like, are you okay, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm okay, I'm just going to do the easy route. Um, so like I clip on to like the easy route and he's like, oh, I'm going to do the extreme route. So he's like, yeah, that, that'll be fine. Like, um, like I'm more macho than you, blah, blah, blah. You're being loud. Sorry if that was too loud. So like, he's like, oh, I'm going to do the, um, look at the state of me. He's like, I'm going to do the extreme route. So like he clips on and stuff and I'm like, honestly, please watch yourself like it's really hard because all the other ones where you're like on a swinging platform like it swings a wee bit but this one was like so loose like it it was safe but it didn't feel safe if you know what I mean like your body's like this is not safe but it technically is safe so um, he's like no I can do it and he like gets onto it and it's like swinging so much <laughs> and um and like he starts to go across and gets to the bit that I got stuck at where I couldn't reach anymore because he is also small like me. Like, we're, we're a pocket-sized couple, so, like, we're not very tall and we don't have very long limbs. So, like, he's like, oh, my God, what do I do? So I'm, like, trying to hold, like, the platform steady while still attached to the tree so that he can, like, get across. And then, like, he gets to a bit where I can't help anymore because, like, the platform ends and you have to jump to another platform and that bit also moves. And, um... Like, so I'm just, like, on this wee easy net that you just, like, climb through this net, like, in the sky. And, like, he gets to the other side and he was, like, oh, my God. And he's, like, you could literally see his legs were, like, jelly. So then I feel better about my reaction because I was, like, yeah, that was horrendous. Like, that was literally horrendous. Like, it was so scary. <laughs> like, I would never, ever do that again. Like, never, like, never, ever. Like, see, like, right now, I feel like I could probably do it, but I know that I'm never going to do it again because like I can't do it it's like how I think I can beat Usain Bolt in a race like I'm absolutely convinced I can but I probably can't but I think I can so but yeah but um it was really fun and then like basically so you climb up the trees on these horrendous ladders they're so rickety and scary but like that's the point of it you do like the obstacle course and then you like take a zip line down and I really like the zip lines they're like my favorite so the reason we chose to go to this one which is an Aberfoyle was because um, it's got the longest zip line in all of the ones of the UK. So I love zip lines, so that was amazing. So like, to get to the very end, you go on like the longest one. So like, I hooked myself up and everything, and I'm like swinging along. So at this point, I just like, I just want to be over. Like, I just want it to be done. I want to go and get a toasty. I'm starving. I'm freaking out. My legs are like jelly because of everything that's happened. And, like, while I'm in the middle of it, like, I don't know how many metres it is. It's a long fucking way. Like, you can't even see the end of it. It's that long. Like, through the forest and, like, over, like, a waterfall and everything. It's really beautiful. So, like, you're going so fast. My eyes are streaming because, like, the wind. And then I'm, like, trying to look down. But as I'm looking down, I'm like, oh, my God, my glasses are going to fall off. So then I'm having to look up. And as soon as I, like, look up, like, I can feel something, like, flapping on my butt. I know it sounds really weird, but it was the harness, and I'm like, oh my god, it's not made this feeling before. It's definitely untouching, like, this is it. This is how I'm going to die. <laughs> like, through all the bit. Oh man, it was just an experience and a half, but I'm really glad I did it. Like, I think it's important to, like, push yourself to do stuff that you don't think you can do, because if you don't do that, then you're just going to be too safe. And, like, sometimes you just need to take massive risks in life, even when it feels like you're risking your life, but you know you're not, so just character building you know but it was really good um and then we just drove home like totally in silence because we were just so tired but now we're going to order a takeaway i also don't know when i'm going to edit this because i literally have no energy to like even sit up and edit this so blog of a day of christmas so it's like half past 10 and that's me just managing to edit the video day vlogmas what? Vlogmas day one now? On the second? Alright, yeah. Um, so it's going to obviously go up late, which is not what I wanted. But I did fall asleep today and I had a nap because I was so tired. Like, I got up so early yesterday for my birthday because I'm just like four. And I don't know how to not be like that. So... <laughs> um, but that's me just editing it now. But I don't know why, but it's taking so long to render. So I'm sorry if it goes up near midnight. I'm so sorry. Also, um, my friends came over like just to drop off presents. Melanie and Stuart. And Melanie got me this bubble mask. Look. This annoys me that it's backwards. I'm going to get my actual camera out tomorrow. So none of this is happening. But look, it's um, 
this little one, a sleeping pack, the bubble tea one by Etude House. Um, and it's a strawberry flavour and she also got me Cranium Dark Like we, anytime like we're all together, like us four is like a couple Like me, Andy, Melanie Stewart We always have like a couple, like a couple's like game night with like food and stuff So that's really cool because it means that we can just take that round and like Basically she's just bought it for herself but just put it, gave it to me but like I thought it was so nice I wasn't expecting like a present from her and that's probably very expensive so thanks Melanie even though you won't see this and I said thank you in person but I'm really happy um but today's been such a good day I'm just very tired now because I wanted to go to my bed at nine and now it's half ten because my laptop's slow and a dick so but I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm really sorry I couldn't film anything um also just look at the state of Megan this is like you're just getting like an insight to what I actually look like <laughs> uh, yeah sorry I couldn't film anything I go away for anything today and I also felt like re really sick around dinner time which is why I didn't film anything at dinner as well also it's just annoying me that I'm on my phone camera so I'm going to sort my camera my big camera out and I might buy a little handy dandy camera anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed day two of vlogmas and tomorrow is KFC and David Attenborough Day.